This wildlife park in Hertfordshire has spent the last three years looking forward to some new arrivals. So today we're having Indira, our male sunbear, arrive from Belfast, so it's very exciting. He'll be sharing a home with another newcomer, Kyra, who arrived last week. So this is Kyra, she's our female sunbear. Um, she's come to us from Chester Zoo. Some bears come from Southeast Asia. They're the smallest species of bear. The bears will be joining over 800 other animals, including snow leopards, white lions, lemurs, and golden lion tamarins. The zoo is a family affair run by three brothers, Tyler, Cam, and Aaron, and their parents. But it was taken over a generation before. It all began almost almost 40 years ago, 40 years next year. My parents, Peter and Grace Sampson, had a very large bus and coach company. They had depots around London, and they were looking for somewhere to park the coaches in one place. Roxbourne Zoo was up for sale. The local council and community were trying to close it down. It was actually dubbed as the worst zoo in Britain at the time. And then the local authority came along and said, you can't park your coaches, but you could, if you wish, run a zoo. Since those early days, the family has turned the park into a haven for animals that are threatened in the wild. So we've got many animals here that are part of uh, endangered species breeding programs. The new bear, Indira, will join Kyra in a brand new habitat that's been built in the park. The hope is that they might breed because they are seriously endangered at home in Malaysia. Sadly, they are a threatened species in the wild. They're classed as vulnerable. Threats such as the illegal wildlife trade and also deforestation are some of the things that are causing to their extinction. But we can provide a safe haven for some bears, but also help their populations in the wild as well. This 11,000 square foot enclosure will also be home to two other Malaysian animals, an equally rare mammal, the binturong, and some Asian short-clawed otters. It's taken nearly three years to complete and the family are delighted with it. So one of the, my favourite bits about this habitat has got to be the treetop canopy. And it gives you these unbelievable views of the sun bears that are going to be climbing up nice and high in some of these impressive trees and walkways we've got put in there for them. But it just gives people an incredible perspective of the whole habitat. With a new enclosure complete, they're now ready for Indira's arrival. Right on time, he's here in a specially adapted container. He's had a long journey, so the challenge is to get the container out of the truck with minimum disruption. Keepers Kim and Aaron are making sure Indira gets down safely. Right, ready for the drop? Yeah, we're good. Stop, 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 okay, stop, right, stop, 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 stop. And it's a team effort to move the container the last few feet and into position. And then the door can be opened to allow Indira into his new home. Indira's arrival went really well. Uh, the team were incredibly organised and Indira kind of just went straight into his house. And tomorrow, hopefully, he'll go outside for the first time. Oh, here he comes. Yeah. He's massive. Yeah. You know, when we all look through this window together, what a great family achievement. It's kind of like a weight lifted off your shoulders, isn't it? Yeah. After three yeah. years. Yeah. And yeah, everyone's done an incredible job. Yeah. Well, everyone. Well, very proud. Well, we got in touch with the zoo today. Now, the bears still haven't met, but they're settling into the enclosure well. They've even, look, they went for a yep. climb, although that tree it doesn't look that sturdy, Ooh. does it? <laughs> I'm sure they'll meet soon. Uh, and if you want to see more from the uh, team at Paradise Wildlife Park, the brothers feature in a brand new series, Want the Zoo 3 Goes Wild in uh, Britain. It's on every day uh, this week, 5.30 on CBBC and on iPlayer. Yes.